Hello dear friends, I am glad to announce our intention to create several movies on the matter of Ballast Water Management Convention, which came into force recently. We will try to highlight the main requirements and the ideas of the convention, such as standards, surveys, certification, inspections, sampling, crew training, and many other aspects. We issue a great acknowledgement to Whale Software Trademark, which made this project possible. Ok, let's start. Today we will talk about application of the convention. So which ship are under Ballast Water Management Convention? Short answer is all. Any floating device should discharge ballast water according to the management procedures. You can relax just only if your ship doesn't have ballast water according to the design or use ballast water as permanent ballast, so the ballast tanks are sealed and not to be discharged. Another case when you may not to fulfill ballast water management when ship is trading in the domestic waters only or in the domestic waters and international waters, but not calling foreign ports. So, the ship is not making international trips. Such ships are under jurisdiction of the country of trade only. If this country is different from the flag state, administration should grant the ship authorization and inform flag state about it. And the last case, Navy ships. Navy ships, Navy support ships and other governmental non-commercial ships. All other ships must comply. What does it mean in practice? If you have pleasure boat carrying ballast water, your boat must comply with ballast water management convention. Floating flat platform must comply. Sea tug must comply in the case of mentioned floating devices are moving from to their destination through international waters. What about flags which are not part of convention yet? Should they comply? The answer is yes. Convention doesn't give privilege to non-parties. If you fly in flag of non-party, be ready to very detailed inspection in the port of any party of convention. That's enough for today. For more information read Article 3 of the convention or leave your comment here and I will try to answer you. I wish you safe navigation if you are seafarers and easy day for all others. Special thanks to the Whale Software Trademark for the opportunity to make this presentation. Well, software, the base software solutions for the green companies and many departments of the shipping companies. Follow Well Software YouTube channel and you will know everything about maritime documents.